So what'd your supervisor want to talk about? Nothing. One of my cases went missing a week ago, two weeks ago with her whole family. They followed the welfare checks and found them in a different area, so another social worker is taking over and I need to do knowledge transfer. Was it so urgent she had to call you at home? No. I found out about this days ago. I think this gal just gets lonely and picks up the phone. Really a sweet kid. Family is a piece of work, though. I hope this new caseworker is good. So what's up with this date? I can't tell if it's a date or not. You remember David Marshall? Of course I remember him. He's the date? Yeah. Oh, well, that's bizarre. <laughs> Where'd you run across him? He gives one of the aides at school a ride home from work. Turns out he's a writer, and he's a reader for electric literature. I told him I submitted a story there, so he wants to have dinner and talk about it. So, is it date if he was just pretending to care about the story, and it's not a date if he was being honest? Oh, well, no one would ever hook up if they needed to be honest about it. What I really want is a dessert. You're not interested in him? I don't know. I don't know him really. You know him well enough. Is that Aid, his girlfriend? He asked me to dinner right in front of her, so I'm guessing no. He is good looking. He looks better now. Really? Yeah, he lost weight or something. He's wearing a suit, like his tie loosened. Do you seem nervous when I asked you to dinner? No. He's as cool as a cucumber. Yeah, of course he'd be cool. I say he's trying to get in your pants. You know, you have this tendency to think that people are insulting you when they try and fuck you. Just take it as a compliment. The trouble is they, like, actually literally insult you more often than not. There's no such thing as a literal insult. It's just a phrase. Don't use it. You're destroying a perfectly good word. You want to come with me? For what? A dessert. Where? The diner on Rogers. I'll walk with you.